Hey everyone, welcome back to new content of Save Roses. In today's video, we will be discussing about manufacturing back orders. So in some cases, the full quantities of the product cannot be manufactured as we don't have sufficient number of components in our stock. So when this happens, Odo allows to manage the partial manufacturing of the product and create back orders for the rest of the quantity. So in Odo manufacturing app, creating a back order truly creates a split for the original manufacturing order with different number of orders for these back orders. And each of these back orders will be tagged with the original reference number of the manufacturing order. Along with that, a hyphen will be given followed by a new number for the indication of the newly created back orders or for the rest of the uh, orders. So let's see how can we manage this situation in Odo 17 manufacturing module. To manage with the manufacturing back orders, let's move on to the manufacturing module and under the operations, we can just create a manufacturing order. So let me just go to uh, the new button in order to create a new manufacturing order where you can choose the bill of material. So as you just choose the bill of material here, this shows that the number of quantity that we just want to produce as well as the number of components and what components and uh, what quantity of components is required in order to manufacture the items. Everything would be auto populated under the components and work orders as we just choose the bill of material. Now we can save this and we just need to produce five quantity of um, keyboard. So let's confirm the order. As we just confirm the order, here you can see that the component status is not available, which means that we don't have sufficient quantity of the components. So as we just move on to the components here, you can see that uh, the quantities uh, are uh, set to zero. So let's uh, try to produce at least one. Uh, and uh, as we want to produce one, uh, it shows that the quantity that is required in order to produce one will be 88. Um, switch 88 uh, keys as well as one case. So here uh, we can uh, just uh, produce uh, one and then let's move on to the work orders and here we can just click on uh, plan and uh, we can just start the process. So before starting the process we can just click on produce. So as we just uh, try to produce this here you can see that we don't have sufficient number of quantity to produce that. So here we can just create uh, uh, back orders. So let me create back orders. So as we uh, just um, click on create back orders here, you can see that the order is now split and uh, um, among split with uh, uh, two orders and uh, this will be created. I mean, one will be uh, for uh, the produced one and the other will be for the back order. So here you can see that uh, we have just manufactured one quantity of keyboard and uh, uh, as we don't have sufficient components in our stock we uh, just need to manufacture the other items when the products are in back. So here you can see uh, that uh, it's just confirmed as we don't have sufficient quantity we cannot just manufacture that. So uh, the back order is created by showing that the main uh, manufacturing order will be split uh, with different orders and that will be having the original reference number of the manufacturing order followed by an hyphen with the um, number in increment. So that's all about dealing with the manufacturing back orders in Odoo 17 um, manufacturing module. So I hope this video clarifies how to manage the back orders in Odoo 17 manufacturing module. So if you want Odoo customization or Odoo tutorial videos, feel free to contact Cybroses as always. Stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.